Stolen chalices are back where they belong, inside a Roswell church. But still, no one knows who pulled off this heist, and police are hoping this just-released surveillance video will help. News 13's Elena Mendoza shows you. The thieves parked their car in this alley behind me before making their way over here, jumping this fence and forcing their way through a door. Surveillance video outside St. John the Baptist Catholic Church in Roswell shows a truck pull up beside the building a couple weeks ago. You can see a man get out, then seconds later, another. Father Eduardo Espinoza says the thieves made off with consecrated chalices, a key part of the celebration of the Eucharist. That's our belief and that's our faith. And that's why those chalices are so important for us. It's not the, the financial or economical value. They also took patent plates, wine, and audio equipment, among other things. It's upsetting that an, an individual will come into the house of God and do what he wants to do with the house of God when there's a, this is a holy place. Deacon Ernesto Martinez discovered the break-in. He says he saw unconsecrated hosts and cruets on the floor of the chapel, burn marks on the carpet, and another door to the pastor's offices they tried to break through damaged. The police department says a parishioner returned the chalices to the church last week, but was unable to help them in their investigation. Uh, our investigator did speak with that, that person who returned them, who uh, said that they had come to, to her through other people. I'm, I'm happy and I'm glad that they were recovered and returned, but I'm also sad and, and really feeling bad because we don't know what they were used for. Martinez says the church has been burglarized twice in recent years, prompting them to get security cameras. Neither Father Espinoza nor Martinez know who would do this. All I know is that they weren't even afraid of the cameras, so I mean, I mean, they just decided to just come in and, and see what they could do. I think that is something that uh, we as a pastor, uh, we need to work on, you know, to see how we can attract those people, not for that reason, but to bring it to God. Father Espinoza says he's happy the chalices were returned, but is unsure if they'll be used again. He says he wants people to know if they're after valuables, most chalices at churches aren't made of real gold, and they only hold a sacred value. In Roswell, Elena Mendoza, KRQE News 13. Roswell police say they need the public's help identifying the thieves. If you know who they are, call them.